Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of this chess.com Blitz Blitz tournament. It's a Swiss tournament. Currently on two wins, two losses. And I mean, both of the losses were honestly very frustrating. I feel like we shouldn't have lost them. And we only really did because of time issues. At least that's how I'm going to justify it. Um... But they were both very good games regardless. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes of this tournament little mini-series thing, then the playlist will be linked below for that. Here we have a Slav, and my opponent plays an early C5, which I'm not sure is the best way to go about this. I'm not sure. Um, and that's not me saying that my opponent's messed up. That's me saying I literally don't know. But... What we're going to have to ensure in this game is that we play a lot faster than we have been doing. I'm going to go knight to h5 to try and get rid of this bishop. Um, I guess I'm in no rush to take it. I'm stopping bishop to h4 so this bishop doesn't really have anywhere to go. Okay, let's take it now. Take and take. Okay, so we're up a pawn. We're up a pawn. This bishop's doing a great job defending. Let's drop back. I'm expecting bishop d3. Or at some point, anyway. Uh, where do I want to put this bishop? I'm going to put it on b6 so I can bring it to c7 if I want. Okay, yeah, so there's the trade offer. Let's take. And then I'm just going to do a simple double attack. I mean, yes, he can win the h7 pawn. But if rook h7, rook h7, queen h7, I suppose I, I can castle, although knight c5. Trying to get into d6 is annoying. Didn't really consider that. I probably should have. Um, how do I want to handle this? I could go like take, take, and king to e7. I think I prefer that. I think I prefer that. I mean, white still have to, has this problem of the double attack, although that is a great way to solve it, and I just completely missed that. Annoyingly. I do this. Here, here, here. I think he's fully defended. I think. Is he? If here, if obviously takes, then takes, right? So here, 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 here. G6, queen h3, queen e5, and then I'm trying to play rook h8. That seems actually really good. It seems very promising. I mean, after takes takes, he could go king to d1. But, I mean, maybe that's a better way to go about it, to try and hide on c2. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I suppose after takes takes, knight e2, g6, he can go queen to h4, check. That's also an option. Which is a little bit more annoying, maybe. I'm going to go after f7. Let's see what we can do. Okay, he does go for this. I'm going to give this check to stop him from running away. I could give him a perpetual, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to. What about this? 
What about this? And I'm trying not to let him into the second rank so that he can't escape. I think I have to drop back to f8 here. I can't really let g7 fall. Although I suppose if my king gets a g8, my king is actually quite safe. There's no open files for my rook to use other than the h file, but if his king remains on the second rank, it's tough for him to develop his rook. Because something like rook c2, queen f1, king d2, the king is still very much stranded. Then I can maybe use my pawn, and if I can open up a file somehow, get my rook involved. But this is interesting because if you haven't seen the last episode, similar to the last episode, um, I'm basically up three pawns for a piece, which is pretty good. I'm just going to shift to g8. I'm not sure what my idea is. I'm trying to dissuade him from running with his king somehow and I also want him to take this pawn I know that after queen takes I know I can't play this yet but I'm just opening the file to get ready something check here Doesn't really do anything. I could go check. My idea was uh, there, there, threatening this. But if here, here. Not sure what I'm doing. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's do this. I need to speed up so badly. This time management is so bad. So bad. I'm trying to bait him into trading queens with me. I want him to go queen e3 so I can go rook d8. It's just a bit of a trap, really. Yeah, he doesn't fall for it. I just need to get this rook involved. I can't do a whole lot if I can't get it involved. I guess he knows that. Now he's going to run with his king, which makes my life a lot more difficult. I should have done that before. Should have done that before. He's trying to force his queen away from something. Just to give me something. So the queen's defending a lot of important squares. This being one of them, but maybe one of the less important ones. Need to move quickly, or at least try to. He says as he moves very slowly. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we're up. We're up material technically now. Technically. Now we're even on time as well. Mm, he can force a queen trade. I'm actually going to do it. I think I should be able to beat him. Not with this speed, I'm not.
Oh! I keep getting flagged. I just keep getting flagged. Oh, my days. Next episode, boys. Jeez.